Natasha. Starting from Toronto, my mom and I embarked on a new journey, flying over the Atlantic Ocean towards the home of Europe's most western point, Portugal. We were hit with warm humidity, blue skies, and palm trees as soon as we left the airport. We're in Portugal. We're waiting for the bus. There's so many bags. Hi, vlog. We're here. Like our Airbnb. <laughs> You cannot see how steep these are. Lugging our suitcases over worn cobblestone roads, we searched for our Airbnb while marveling at the architecture and culture surrounding us. Wow! <laughs> We're going straight to a seafood restaurant right away. bags and immediately set off to find some of Lisbon's world famous seafood. Full? After a satisfying and filling lunch, it was time to explore more of Lisbon. We boarded Lisbon's famous Tram 28 and rode it from end to end. iconic old neighborhoods such as Gaza, Alfama, and Baixa, while castles and cathedrals towered over us. Jet lagged, we retreated back to the Airbnb, stopping for some fruit at a local grocery store. This is our Airbnb door. It's right here. That's dinner in the yard. Out behind the car. Tonight we're gonna do something different. Wow. I'll make the things that I don't know how to make. Something more delicious. Hi, vlog. It's day two, and today we're going to Sintra to see a castle. We're gonna go get breakfast first. Crazy. The tram comes like right in front. It's kind of loud, but it's really cool to see. before we go to Sintra. Rejuvenated from a full night's rest, we indulged in a very Euro-style breakfast of pastis de nada, Portuguese egg tarts. Afterwards, we headed to the train station. This is how we would be traveling to Sintra, a small town near the mountains of Portugal famous for its villas and palaces. Upon arriving, a guide drove us around Sintra to explore all of the castles nearby. Our first stop was to a fountain where locals would retrieve <laughs> potable mountain spring water. This also afforded us a gorgeous view of the Sintra National Palace, built in the 1500s. Palace of Pina.
Palace is a vibrant blend of Moorish and Romantic architecture. Originally a monastery, it was transformed into a fairy tale castle by King Ferdinand II in the 19th century. Next up was the Moorish Castle. This ancient castle carries a rich history dating back to the 8th century when it was built by the Moors during their occupation of the Iberian Peninsula. Cabo de Roca, the westernmost point of continental Europe. This gorgeous spot is also known as the end of the world and is truly breathtaking with steep cliffs and powerful ocean waves. Pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás no quería saber nada más nunca más pero vos apareciste de repente y me hablaste con una voz tan dulce que perdí la razón y mi corazón Let's go inside Ha ha ha. 